Okay, so welcome. I know you are here to understand how you can work with us to help your thyroid condition. And uh, I thought it would be helpful for you to understand our approach and the background that I bring to the work we're going to be doing together. So I'm going to go ahead and share a screen. So we uh, want to work with you uh, at the lifestyle level, but first you should know my background. I am a medical doctor. I finished my MBBS at KEM Hospital about 2001, almost 20, more than 20 years ago. And then I went ahead to the US to complete my MD medicine or internal medicine. That's three years of training in internal medicine in Chicago. Then I spent a year as a teacher for MD medicine students, which was a fantastic experience to be a teacher. And then I went ahead to super specialize in endocrinology. What is this speciality? It's after MBBS, after MD medicine, you can decide to super specialize. Some people go for cardiology, that's the heart. You might go for nephrology, that's the kidney. Endocrinology is the hormones. So I decided to super specialize in hormones. That means the thyroid, metabolism, weight, PCOS, diabetes, Everything that comes under hormones comes under my speciality. And then I practiced for two years in private practice in the US. And then we moved to India in 2011, which is now 10 years. And I was at Hinduja Hospital Mahim for four and a half years. And I was attached to Breach Candy Hospital for a while. And in 2016, I decided to start my own practice where I decided that I could bring the entire lifestyle experience to my patients. The learning didn't stop after I became an endocrinologist. I was so interested in helping with lifestyle change that I went ahead and became a diabetes educator. Um, I also trained in mindful eating, which means everything such as emotional eating, uh, stress eating, social eating, uh, cravings, late nights, munching through the night, ordering out, what to do when you're with people, all this comes under emotional eating or uh, you know overeating, dieting mentality, can't eat this, scared to eat that. All of these restrictions and struggles that we have with food, I got trained in the thinking about that. Um, I also trained an emotional freedom technique. And what is emotion? Emotion is energy in motion, emotion, how energy moves through the body. Guess what? When you're feeling happy, sad, scared, angry, how do you move that emotion through your body? It's hormones. And so, because I was interested in hormones, I became very interested in how the emotions and hormones go together. So I got trained in a beautiful mind-body technique called EFT, emotional freedom technique. Again, because as a doctor, we know how to deal with body parts and joints when they're broken or damaged, but we don't know how to teach people about exercise. That's not something doctors are trained in. And so I wanted to know more about exercise for my own personal fitness and also wanted to learn about exercise to have better conversations with my patients because they would sometimes say, I have spondylitis, I have a back issue, I have sciatica, ever since I had this hernia, I can't exercise. So, or knee pain when I exercise, foot pain, reasons why they couldn't exercise. So I went ahead and became a certified personal trainer to have more knowledge to talk to them about these things. My spiritual turn came in 2013 when I was going through a personally rough patch and I was emotionally down. It was probably one of the hardest phases of my life. And I turned to spirituality at that point. It doesn't have to be God. It could just be that you believe that somebody's in charge of making sure the sunrise happens every morning without fail. And uh, whoever set those things in place and created the human body, whatever wisdom that is, I connect to that and I feel one with that and that keeps me grounded, it keeps me centered and I look to connect with that in you and help you connect with that part of you. So whether you call it God or not really doesn't matter, but believing that there's something higher, something positive that we are all here to make the world a better place. And that came to me through Reiki, but I still learn various ways. I read about this and a lot of my conversations with you will include topics about our emotions and healing our negative thoughts, negative emotions, because that has such a big impact on our health. Personally, when I went through Reiki, I was able to do some things with my own health, which I'll come to in a little bit. 
um, also habit change, right? Because if I'm looking to be your doctor and trying to give you as little medicine as possible, but still have you reach better health, I don't have a magic wand. I don't have some blessings that come out of my hands. So what are we going to do together? We're going to work on lifestyle change. What is lifestyle? It's habits, it's behaviors. It's all the old habits that brought you to this point. What needs to change so that you can have better health with less medication? So I had to really study and enjoy learning all about what it takes for us to change our habits. So that's a big topic of interest of mine. So these are some questions that I want you to scan through if you've come in to understand your thyroid gland is, do you believe that these are true? The thyroid imbalance is the most common hormone imbalance that causes difficulty losing weight, if you think that's true. If you're on thyroid medication, you will have difficulty losing weight. Thyroid patients need to avoid soy, cauliflower, cabbage, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cruciferous vegetables. Thyroid antibodies are dangerous. Once you start thyroid medicine, you cannot touch or reduce the dose. The dose only goes up. If you think any of these are true, I want to tell you it's not the case, okay? And coming to what happened with me, I have Hashimoto's thyroiditis. I have autoimmune thyroid condition, okay? So if you do my blood test, you'll see antibodies. There are antibodies, which are called TPO antibodies, microsomal antibodies. They are designed to attack my own thyroid gland. But now that everybody's been through the pandemic, they know what are antibodies. Let's say you have COVID antibodies. What does that tell us? Your immune system is prepared to attack COVID virus if it comes, right? So when you have thyroid antibodies, it means your immune system is prepared to attack your thyroid gland. That doesn't mean that it has to be attacking at this moment. It's like saying that each country that has a nuclear missile. It has the nuclear missile, but they are not engaging in nuclear war at this moment. So just because you have antibodies doesn't mean you have to be sick or there has to be a continuous suffering going on. I still have my antibodies. And I was not able to conceive until I started taking thyroid medication. My TSH was not coming into the normal range. So I took thyroid medication. I was already an endocrinology fellow in training. I was going through my education to be an endocrine specialist. And that's the time that I had to be on thyroid medicine. My teachers prescribed it. I took it. I studied the books. I took the exams and I read about how you have to give people thyroid medication. So I did not take any chances during pregnancy. I completed both pregnancies, taking my thyroid medication every day, 100 micrograms. Slowly the dose came down after delivery. And I was still taking it every day thinking I have to be on this medicine for the rest of my life. And after Reiki came in my life, somewhere I was getting this deep sense that I think I need to stop my medication. It was not scientific. It was not logical. So please do not do this unless you're under medical supervision. I was my own doctor. So I took that chance on myself, but I would encourage you to do this only when you are with a doctor who is confident of supervising your dose, okay? But guess what? I took thyroid medication from 2006 to 2013. After that, I have not taken a single thyroid pill. I'm still Hashimoto's, I still have antibodies, but my TSH is normal without any medication. And people look at me and say, but you don't look like you have thyroid. So this language needs to improve. All of us have a thyroid gland. So you have eyes, you have thyroid. You have thyroid doesn't mean anything. There's no logic in that statement. You might have hypothyroidism, which is underactive thyroid gland, but that doesn't mean you have to suffer. As of today, I have autoimmune Hashimoto's hypothyroidism, which is controlled without medication, okay? Am I guaranteeing that all of you will be able to stop your medicine? Not guaranteed. Not sure that each of you will be able to stop the dose completely. What I can tell you is 100% of our patients who have worked with us on lifestyle, nutrition, sleep, stress, exercise, they have been able to successfully reduce the dose. Some of them have stopped the dose. Many of them have reduced the dose, okay? So the other thing I wanted to tell you was about, so all of these are, are false, okay? I eat soya, cauliflower, cabbage every day, okay? There's something of those in my diet almost every day. I don't have any thyroid issues, even though I take it. 
So don't get scared when you see the antibodies high. Let's work on your lifestyle. Treatment advice given to common patients, commonly given to patients who have a diagnosis of a thyroid condition is eat less, exercise more, stop these foods, be on your medicine and keep doing your blood tests. We want to go deeper than that. Okay. And we go deeper in this way. All these bubbles will be covered with you in a lifestyle change approach. All of these bubbles matter when it comes to lifestyle. We have seen that when we cover all these in a comprehensive way, step by step, it's like coming to school. It's like coming and enrolling in a class. So if you come into our school, these are the subjects we will teach you over time, coaching you step by step, monitoring your blood tests and your medication doses. So I like to give an example of the car. And if you start working with us, I'll always say, do you remember the car? Do you remember the first lecture where I told you about the car? This is that car. The four wheels of the car, nutrition, sleep, stress, or spirituality, exercise. Once the four wheels are tuned up, we can look at the medications. We can try and adjust the dose. Once the car is fully ready, if you're an adult, we can talk to you about intermittent fasting as a treatment approach. But imagine you want to go on a long car journey on the highway. You want to take the car for a long drive. You won't go with a puncture. You won't go with tires which are not properly checked up. So even if one of these tires is not okay, your car won't move. Doesn't matter if the other three are fine. Same goes with intermittent fasting. Even if you're doing three things perfectly, if one of them is out of place, your experience with intermittent fasting may not go so well. That's why we do medically supervised intermittent fasting when we are working with someone who has a diagnosis of a hormone imbalance, okay? And guess what? Life happens, right? So the way life has to give you ups and downs, the same way the road has bumps and a well-tuned car can manage and navigate the bumps, same way life throws ups and downs, we will teach you, we're sitting on your shoulder coaching you every step of the way for at least three to six months. Life's ups and downs will happen and we will teach you how to think through nutrition, sleep, stress, exercise, and fasting through the ups and downs of life. It's not a detox, it's not a diet, it's life. So whatever you learn with us will be something you can sustain because you didn't have to go into some retreat or some runaway place or escape, getaway, check in, to a you know retreat or a detox plan, you're gonna do it in the middle of your life. So you don't need to be perfect. We learn through the experiences you share with us. So what does it mean to have comprehensive hormonal well-being when we talk about nutrition, sleep, stress management, exercise? Remember, I'm a hormone doctor. All of these four components connect. You, the same way the four wheels of the car are connected. You can't see it, but all the four wheels are coordinating with each other below your car so that your car goes in the right direction. Same way, nutrition, sleep, stress, exercise, they are in coordination through hormones. But there is a lot that happens under the surface. We will work you through these. We have the expertise to help make these things simple. It's a bit complex. You can see how it gets intertwined. These are all the hormonal connections that go on and we will work with you at every step. Each of these arrows represents a hormonal system. Each of them could be one hour lecture and we'll teach it to you. You don't need to become a doctor. You don't need to understand medical terminology. You just need to understand your body and we'll teach you how to understand your body and get a better relationship with your own physical being. So the way forward with us would be that we want to work with you to reduce your medication for any hormone imbalance Goals would be inch loss at the waist, body fat percentage going down, body muscle percentage going up. So we will not be obsessing over the weighing scale. You will not be asked to weigh yourself, say, weigh yourself every day, every minute, every hour, after every uh, meal and after every visit to the bathroom, none of that. We don't want you torturing yourself with the weighing scale. If you have fatty liver early stages, it does get reversed. We need to act aggressive. We want reduction in markers of cardiac risk better immunity, better energy. In COVID times, everybody's talking about immunity. It's not just about only vaccine. Yes, you should get your vaccine, but we need to do many things with nutrition, sleep, stress, exercise to support a good, healthy immune system. No restrictive dieting. We need you to be free from that. You are in charge. There's no thing that you have to keep controlling yourself. I have to control this. I get cravings. I have to control my cravings. We don't want you to be suppressing cravings. We want you to learn how to understand your cravings and get to the root of it. And then you get to decide if you want to eat it, you can eat it. It's always up to you. 
Okay, you'll be in charge and we'll empower you. We'll teach you how to be empowered with those choices. Eventually, even though you might have come to us for a hormone condition, what's going to happen is side benefits, body pains, sleep, acidity, headaches, other hormone imbalance issues, uh, fluid retention, bloating, so many things, which was not the primary reason they came to us, gets better in our patients because we are going at the root. We're helping the body fix whatever it wants to fix, whether it's nutrition, sleep, stress, exercise, or fasting. These approaches help all these other so-called unrelated symptoms get better. Actually, everything is connected. The whole body is connected, right? So those are the things that you can look forward to when working with us. And one last thing I'd like to share with you is how uh, it works in the sense, what can you expect when we start working together is there would be a consultation, a medical evaluation, there would be coaching, there will be an, in, you will be involved in a community where you can ask your questions, learn from other people's experiences. These are all people who we've worked with directly. They are graduates, they are alumni, and we like to stay in touch with them lifelong. So it's a very well-trained group of people who have understood these things that you're about to learn. I have created learning videos for you, which you can watch, it's in your mobile. You can just press and watch whenever you want. And we, get a very systematic approach to your health data so that you can understand where things are going. And we give you one-to-one -one chat support. So that's the way we can create a proper whole experience with you at the center of the whole system. So I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to knowing what it is you're um, you know, interested in doing. And the final thing that you can kind of understand and then get in touch with us if you want is how we go about it is to at least 12 calls over three to four months. Only if somebody has done uh, a low carb approach before, then they might be okay to do six calls, but you need to have already got some good confidence with low carbohydrate living. And it's a six months chat support as well, because we know that even once the calls are done, you will need some support to actually maintain those habits. And then beyond that, it could be periodic coaching and periodic handholding whenever you need. It's like going for yoga. Once you do yoga, you have to know how to keep doing yoga. When you do music class, you know, you need to keep doing your practice. So having a healthy lifestyle requires practice. It requires some like-minded individuals who are there in the back of your mind so that you can remain on track. Again, keeping those healthy habits that you've built with us. We will adjust your medications and review your blood tests and all the solutions will be customized. So each of you who starts with us, you will get an individualized plan. None of you will get the exact same plan because each of you are different. Even down to your thumbprints, you are different. Your fingerprints are different. You're even within the same house, within my house, four of us living here, we have different likes and dislikes. So we have different solutions for the four of us in my own home. I'm not able to create a one size fits all plan for any of the four of us. We're all unique. So your solutions will be unique. It will be a partnership. We bring the expertise of the hormonal and the medical and the lifestyle change. You bring the expertise about you. You are an expert in you. So we want to work with you. It's an equal platform. There's knowledge going on both sides. So we can go to the common goal, which is better health with less medication.